your Z Fold 6 is not turning on, it's not charging, and we have the black screen in one or both of our screens. So let's first of all try forcefully restarting the phone. So there may be a software glitch which is causing this. Hopefully that's the case. And so all we need to do is press and hold both power and volume down. So I'm going to press these now and keep power and volume down held down for around 50 to 45 seconds. So what may have happened is the phone is actually on right now, but the software glitched, which is why the phone is not responding. So by doing this, we'll patiently wait for the Samsung logo. And once we see that logo, we can release, the phone will turn back on. And as it's a software problem, there's nothing you need to worry about in that regard. If this doesn't work, I'll show you one more fix, but quickly we'll check the charging port here. If there's dirt or gunk built up in your charging port, you can typically get a flashlight or a torch from another phone and look inside. So my charging port's clean. If yours is not, you need to get a thin tool. You can actually use the SIM ejector tool. Uh, you can use a needle and you just want to pull it at the bottom right of the charging port swipe across, pull up, do the same for the top right and just try and get any gunk or dirt removed and then put in the charging cable and try again. Now if we know the charging port's fine then the issue at hand is your display cable or battery cable has actually unplugged from the phone. So in order to solve this I'm going to turn off my phone first. So we need to place the phone flat on the table and on its back side and we're going to get two thumbs and we're just going to push as hard as we can on the back of the screen if it helps you can you know hold the phone and then just push down and we'll do this for the entire back of the screen so if the cable is unplugged by doing this it should reconnect the cable this will not damage your phone in any way so you don't need to worry about that so I'll repeat this for the full back of the phone. You may want to do it twice or three times just to try and get that cable plugged back in. And we'll also repeat the same for the front. So we'll get two fingers. Just push as hard as you can. Put maximum force into this one. And if you hear click sound, should be quite a loud sound. That means the cable is being plugged back in. So for the presentation, I'm not going to do the full front of the screen, but you want to do the full back and front. If you don't hear any clicks, when the phone's flat, with two fingers, we can tap as hard as we can to put maximum force into this, go around everywhere, and just tap as hard as you can around the entire back, just trying to get that cable clicked back in. With the front screen here, we'll put one hand to stabilize the phone, and then we'll repeat the process. Make sure you do this without a case on, as if you have a case on, it may not be able to like you know, click things in place. And you don't want to do any tapping or you know massaging on the inside screen because it's plastic, so uh, just don't do that. Now we'll try and do the force restart. So power and volume down. So press and hold these two down. And hopefully we see the Samsung logo. If we do great, if this issue ever arises again. Just repeat those steps. Hopefully it shouldn't. Typically a drop or water damage causes this, but every now and then it just the cable unplugs. And so now the phone is turning back on. If all of these fail, your phone is faulty, unfortunately. So you will have to book in a repair with Samsung. That is the only option.